Good morning, my name is Mark Escott and I run the Dimmick's Pit Fishery based in Newton Longville, Milton and Kings. And what it is, is a, it's a beautiful mixed fishery, as you all know. We've got tench, carp, um, pike, lots of roach and rod. And a lot of people come down here just on a pole or float fishing for the day with the children or just for a peaceful pleasure in day angling. And they sometimes say to me, Mark, how are we catching these roach and rod? And down here, it could not be simpler. What it is, what I use down here, it's what I set up for the kids really. Four pound line. Self-loaded float, two tiny shots either side, stop from sliding, and we go for, and um, we're actually at the moment, we're in peg four, and peg four is a tiny little weed bed out the front. You want to be about six inches in front of the weed bed, and it generally works throughout the lake. Anywhere up in front of a weed bed, six inches or so, because um, it's clear, you can often see them. A foot to two foot length, and this is where we do, this is the difference what I do, a lot of people don't do, they ain't listen to me. We have a size 16 barbless, Okay, and what we tend to do, have no bottom shot. There's no no bottom shot on this rig at all, okay? You can definitely see it, No, there's, there's no bottom shot. So what we do is when we cast out, it flutters down. And what we do is every time we, we you feed two, I always suggest feed two little areas. So a handful of maggots, probably foot to the left, three foot to the right, and just gently feed it. What it is, is as the maggots are fluttering down, the roach seem to come in and they just bop, 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 bop. And what happens sometimes as you're feeding it, you attract the bigger fish. Um, my door absolutely swears by that. And you can see that? One single red maggot. That's all we do is snip it out. Ooh. Easy now, boy. And then we flick it out. And I can guarantee you, this, especially this time of year, this will go in about 20 seconds. This is going now. It's going. It's going. Oh. So we have a lot of tiny little fish in here, up to half pound pound. So you really don't know what you're going to catch, especially when it's slightly mild and, and, and slightly overcast, because the lake's very clear. Oh, missed it, Jesus. <laughs> but you will catch, watch. So you got your setup going, and you just want to, I've chosen, just to go a couple of, couple of inches in front of the weed, bring it back a touch, okay. And as you go out, you want to throw a little handful of maggots on top every time. Because what you're trying to create is to flutter. What you're trying to do is as the bait hits the surface and the maggots, you want them to go down as a group. So as soon as that maggot hits out there, flick a little handful of maggots out on top so they're all going down as a group. What's that that's doing? That's attracting the roach and, uh, roach and rud and smaller species from out the reed lines. And they're coming in out of the weed and they're just grabbing it quite viciously as it goes. So you'll get a bite. What I say to people, if you flick your float out, give it a couple of minutes. If you're having no luck and it's been out for two or three minutes, here we go. Done. Beautiful. Here we are. Nice perch. And here we are. Beautiful little perch. Boop. Oh, sorry, fella. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, oh, it's been back. Here we go. And that's you do it. And then what you do, again, keep that process going. And what happens is over time, you'll get the bigger fish come in, the tension thing. So, you cast, you flick some eggs out, and it's all fluttering down and sinking together. And the key thing for me, I find if you put a bottom shot on, it's going too quick. What you're trying to do is, is, is catch it as it's dropping down. So that's what you do, okay? Hopefully that'll help you. We'll do a bit more, and uh, I'll see if I can catch a, thing, uh, a little bit bigger. So what I'm going to do is repeat that process again and again and again. I've got a little bit, bit, little, bit um, shallower than before. I'm going to just get it down in that line again. Roughly where we said before, every time you must just keep little few maggots going out on top every time. And once you get them feeding, you'll be, you know, they'll, they'll come flicker fire. Here we go. Beautiful. Yeah, that's it. Nice and easy. 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 Same thing again, single maggot. But you really do need to do that. You can't. You don't have to go deep. I'm only going sort of six inches. Same spot again, and I just repeat the process, and you will get a little feeding frenzy going. Because I'm a bit. Some people come down, and like I said, they're struggling a little bit because they're, they're not keeping it simple. A few maggots out on top of that float. I think a little bit. You can see a bit more. A few maggots in on that float. Hang on. Two seconds left. Cast that shot. Do it again. 
Okay, so I want it. Straight back out. Bring you in. Same position. Three or four maggots again. Like so. A few of them on top of the float. And it's all fluttering down again. And here we go. Off we go. Bosh. Oh, terrible. A little bit of weed on that. I say it's not, it's just I want to give you one a bit more of a ideal now. I'll fish it down here for the small stuff. That's all. A few, few people are saying to you, Mark, can you just do a little, um, can you just do a little video on how you catch the roach in that down your lake? And I just thought, well, I, you know, we're off the reed line, a few inches or so. A little bit of bait on top of that. And again, it'll just keep going. And you, you'll have fun like this all day. So if you bring your kids out, oh, buggers. Yup. You know, fun all day doing this. It'll get to the point they'll be waiting for you. So what they'll do, they'll be waiting for your bait. So they'll be like, a, if you've got your polaroids on, there'll be shoals of roach and rud in that reed line waiting for your bait as it flutters. So it gets to the point you don't even have to really throw the maggots out, but you've got to keep consistent. Oh, so I've thrown some maggots out this time around it. Exactly the same process. Give it a couple of seconds. And it will go. And like I say, if it hasn't gone in a few, you know, in a minute or so, then it'll be brought back in and, and re, redone. So. The beautiful thing about this place, you, you may not, um, you know, so many fish are caught on the float. It's the mad thing is people um, come down here for the carp or the bigger fish and they forget that it's float, it's really a float lake. It's a little bit weedy, a little bit silt, it's really a float lake, so. You know, the amount of times you'll sit down on a float catching these roach and rud like this, catching the roach and rud like this, you'll, um, you'll pick up the, the carp. If you like a rud, these are, per these are beautiful down here. Uh, one. <laughs> Spin is out. Beautiful. They're a good size in here. And if you keep doing that method I said, you'll catch these all day long. You really, really will. If you get your float out there, do like that. Because now we've got a little shoal coming in now, I think. Keep up that same method over and over again. You have a great day. Here we go. All beautiful looking fish.
Beautiful. There we are. That method will prove that you'll catch fish of fish again and again like this. Look at this little Rachel. Oh. <laughs> I mean, he's a nice. Let me catch a bit. He's a not. Oh, calm down. Oh. <laughs> Bloody roach. He's a nice roach. Gone. I like I said, the key is consistency. So. We don't need no bottom shots. You need it as simple as, as you can. You know, pole fishermen do really, really well. So I suggest just go for a self cocker float, honestly. You know, put a, a size six shot either side of your float. Give yourself anything between six inches to a foot and a half. Off a reed line, single red maggot, size 16, 18, maybe even 22 hook. You'll hook more of a 22 because there's a lot of small fish in here. And then what you want to do is you cast and you throw the maggot on top. It's simple as that. And if you do that, you'll have a really, really great day. And I say, do a few different spots, because if a pike comes in, it could go quiet. But like I say, if you keep doing to that same method, float out, few offerings on top, you'll have a wicked day down there, and you'll catch roach after roach. There's little baby carp in here, baby tench, and it's all manner. And a lot of people call even a bigger carp on the, on, on the float fishing. So like I say, that's a few methods on how to fish the lake. Really, really help this float fishing tips, really helps you out when you come down, and you have a great down there. And you can enjoy the scenery, and catch lots of fish. Anyway guys, stay safe, take care, it's been a pleasure.